I'm making a video to talk about an issue I've had with Illustrator regarding gradients and the Pathfinder trim tool. Uh, when you have uh, objects that are being trimmed, they're supposed to keep whatever's on top solid and then knock out whatever's underneath. But when you use this feature with gradients, uh, it doesn't do that. And I'll show you what I mean. If I select all these objects and I go to Pathfinder and I click Trim, you can see that it keeps the lines here. If I select the gradient, I'm gonna ungroup first. If I select the gradient and then move it, you'll see that the object's still underneath. Uh, it's almost like it's acting like a, a divide instead of trim. Now, the reason why it does this is because gradients, standard gradients are considered um, two objects. They just apply over print fills. So there's like a white here and then a black and they're combined together as an overprint. And when you have overprints in Illustrator, it, it causes trim to basically do this. Now, the workaround for this issue is to apply a gradient through the appearance palette. So if I make this gradient white and then I manually add a fill of a gradient and then I use the trim tool, it works the way that it's supposed to. Now, <clears throat> it this doesn't it, it's not a problem when I'm making my own art. Uh, but this is an issue when I get art from everyone else who just makes normal gradients, which is the majority of people. They don't normally add the gradient through the appearance palette. So I'm hoping that someone at Adobe can make it so that when someone makes a gradient, it applies that under color just like the appearance does so that when you use the trim filter, it knocks out like it's supposed to. If you could implement that, I'd be extremely grateful because it would save me literally hundreds of hours of having to go in and add uh, the undercolor or the appearance on every single gradient and designs that are sent to me. Thank you.